Alright, so did you guys know that when I become... Villain Derp Sunday. That my farts even sound villainy? <laughs> Kinda weird, isn't it? Hey, what's going on guys? Sunday here, and welcome back to some more Trollcraft. Now, dudes, yesterday, as you all know, I uploaded Trollcraft. And asked you if you wanted me to upload another episode. I don't freaking know. A lot of you guys wanted me to do two tro uh, two troll crafts in one week, so that's what we're doing now. Zine got on last night after my episode and counted up all the points. I'll show you that in a second. First off, uh, it, Craner's picture was updated, so uh, let's do this. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> ugly X2 and then ugly. <laughs> So look at this, dude. I have a lot planned for this episode. If I, I have a troll plan for Captain Sparkles. If I can get that to work later on in this episode, this is gonna be good. So check this out. My points have been updated. And look at that. We have caught up. We have 36 points. We are tied with Craner. Captain Sparkles has 37. And the last troll was Villain Sunday Return. <laughs> so what I have planned this episode. What I want to do. Let's head back home. I have been busy in between episodes. I have, since I've gotten power, <laughs> I have automated something. I'm gonna show you what has been done. Let's head back home. So check this out. As you can see, I removed the uh, the structure on top of my house. <laughs> oh, I said I added another layer onto my house. And check this out. Let's wait. Disappointing or disapproving Sunday disapproves. This has Zine written all over it. <laughs> Oh gosh, anyway, so look at my house. I have my my one solar panel and my one uh, wind wind farm with my tesseract down there that I'm totally not stealing power <laughs> So we have that going and then if we go down here We have we're gonna have all of our machines down here and then if we go down one more level check this out <laughs> Look at my farm. This is all automated with this harvester right here that is using not stolen power <laughs> from up here, but uh, check this out. Look at all of these resources. <laughs> We have all this redstone, all this gold, all this lapis, all this diamond, all this shiny, and all of this iron. And it's all coming from these agri-craft plants. <laughs> and this is all from one night. I set up a chunk loader over here, and this is all from one night. I am not kidding. This is insane. So... What I'm gonna do really quick, uh, I have a machine that I want to set up this episode. I think I might have found an exploit. <laughs> you dudes know me, we're all about exploits around here. So what I need to do, I need a crap ton, let's go up here. I need a crap ton of steel. Which, yeah, steel dust right here, so if we smelt this down. Yeah, that'll turn into steel, I believe. Hold on, hold on, let's see. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Steel ingots. I need a crap ton of steel ingots. And I'll show you why in a second. And I have a bunch of iron. Oh uh, yeah, I have some iron in here. And of course, I have endless iron down here. <laughs> All of these iron nuggets. 64 iron ingots. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I have a lot of setting up to do. Uh, I have some- I have the hoppers. I'm gonna be making a really cool machine. I've never seen this before. But if we can make this... Yeah, so what I need, I need 11 of these light engineering blocks, which is pretty easy to make. Uh, so let's make two... Hold on, two, four, six, eight, ten, tw six. <laughs> hold on, we need 12? How, how does one math? <laughs> there we go, okay, so 12 of those. Now, do we have enough? Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I think we have 12. There we go. Okay, we have 12 light engineering blocks. The next thing we need, we need a crap ton of these steel 
fences. All right, ho hold on. We need steel rods. It there we go. Okay. And we need eight steel fences for this to work. Okay. We also need steel scaffolding. I know what you guys are thinking, Sunday. What the freak are you making? You'll see soon. This block is insane. Yeah, these steel scaffolding right here. Okay, so I need even more fences. Oh, good lord. How many steel scaffolding do I need? So I'm pretty sure that's everything. So what I have to do, this is a multi-block machine. So what I need to do, so if I, so it's five wide. So if I do this, this, and then light engine. I'm looking at a, a picture over here on my other monitor. This, and then three coming up. Another scaffolding, scaffolding, a scaffolding all the way over here. And I believe it's like this. Okay, and the second layer needs to be three more engineering blocks. An engineering block in the center, and then two over here. Right? And then surrounding this engineering block, we need steel fences. I know what you guys are thinking, Sonny, this makes zero sense. You'll see soon enough, like that. And then on top of all of these fences, we need hoppers. I think. And then like this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's- I know that looks like a jumble of crap, but- but if we take this engineer's hammer, and then right-click the steel scaffolding- Hold on. Hold on, wait, wait. Why- G game? Why you no work? Is it- Hat- There we go! Look at this. <laughs> this turns into a crusher. And then all we need to do, hold on, let me tie in some power. I believe it's right to there, right? So what I need to do, I have this industrial fertilizer, right? Which is really easy to make. You know, it's only that recipe for 24. So what I need to do, take wool, right? And then surround, and there we go. Now we have brown wool. Now what you guys, Sandy, what the freak do you need brown wool for? <laughs> Check this out. Whenever I come up here to the crusher, I throw in the brown wool. Look at that! It crushes up the brown wool and gives me string, but that's not what I'm looking for. Hold on. Let's keep crushing this. I believe it has like a 10% chance? Hold on, let's see if this works. And there we go, cocoa beans. <laughs> I get it, cocoa beans aren't a big deal, but what I'm gonna do, let's go down here to my farm. Uh, let me plant some of these cocoa beans, and let me grow some of these cocoa beans. Alright, so there we go. We have our cocoa beans going. We have th uh, 11 cocoa beans and 16 wheat. Okay. So now what I need to do, and I, I, I know you guys are gonna say it, Sunday, this is stupid. <laughs> You'll see soon enough. What we're making are cookies. <laughs> A stack of cookies, there we go. Okay, next thing I need to make, I believe it, uh, it takes gold, which, uh, I believe I have enough gold. Uh, diamonds, which, uh, well, same boat, we have enough diamonds. <laughs> and I believe it's like this, if we take gold nuggets, and then gold, there it is. This is called the Pac-Man Pet. I'll show you what this does in a second. <laughs> if this works, I, I tested it in single player and it's it kind of worked. It's an exploit. It's pretty broken. I'll show you in a second. Hopefully it works on the server. What I need to do now, I made myself a tool forge in between episodes and then over here, I made an obs uh, I made 10 obsidian large plates with gold a golden apple, a diamond Block of diamond and a block of gold. Now what I need to do, I need to make myself a pickaxe made out of magical wood. This is gonna take for freaking ever. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm enchanting one book at a time. So what I have to do, do that with gold in the corners. Let me just, let me just sort all this out. Gold in the corners and then the enchanted books around that. And, and there we go. Magical wood. We need 10 magical wood. So I need to enchant 40 books. So I'm going to need to go get more levels. Oh, good lord. This is going to take a while. Well, I'm an idiot. I only needed 3 magical wood, not 10. <laughs> that saved me a crap ton of time. Okay, so let's get the tool rod. 
Right, and then let's get the, uh, the, hold on, why, uh, oh yeah, there we go, hi, wait, at, get, game please, okay, there we go, the, the binding, and then the pickaxe head, okay, so now if we create this in here, the magical wooden pickaxe, and if you notice, this thing has eight modifiers remaining, what we have to do is get this, up to 10 modifiers by adding this. So if we give it a block of diamond and a golden apple, there we go. That gives it nine modifiers. And then if we do this again with a block of gold and a diamond, that gives it 10 modifiers. So if we take this and then apply the obsidian large plate to this 10 times, this gives it reinforced one every single time. And once we get this up to 10, I'll show you what happens. It becomes reinforced X, which means it has infinite durability. <laughs> which if I use this pet over here, the Pac-Man pet, check this out. Let me, let me organize my inventory. Let's go down to a cave. I want to show you this possible exploit that I found. And then after this, we're going to set up this troll on Captain Sparkles. You guys ready for this? <laughs> I hope this works. So what this Pac-Man pet does, whenever I'm low on food, it eats a cookie for me. But I found a glitch, possibly, that may cause an exploit. I upped Va As you guys know, whenever you use Vein Miner, right? So, like, whenever I use Vein Miner, it uses my food to use Vein Miner. But with this pet being in my inventory, I won't have to eat. So check this out. With this un this unbreakable pickaxe and not, being a not, not having to eat food. Watch this. Let's activate Vein Miner. <laughs> Look at this. Hold on, let me fly up here. Look at this. <laughs> it is still vein mining. The exploit is working. <laughs> It is, and there we go. I just let it go and look at all of this stuff. Look at this. <laughs> Let's check my mining level. My mining level, if you look at the top right, that little gold pickaxe is level 63. <laughs> so how the exploit works, the, uh, the, the Pac-Man pet. It like glitches out. I don't know why, but now I have an unlimited amount of baking potatoes. <laughs> I don't know why it glitches, but I have an unlimited amount of baked potatoes. And also all this stuff on the ground. Hold on, let me kill this to get back. Look at this. <laughs> And the more, look at all this experience. The more I level up, the better drops I can get. 42 diamonds. All of these ender pearls and unlimited amount of bottles of enchanting. <laughs> uh, I love exploits. <laughs> I think I broke the server also, but yeah. This is how- the, oh, and a, a lucky- a chance cube. Oh, good lord. Gotta open the chance cube. It's my rule. The, time to farm. D we- I just got a hoe. <laughs> and here's another chance cube. Let's open this. Oh, good lord. What is it? Please don't kill me. No! It- Flying magma cubes. Okay, dude, so let's head back home. I have this exploit that I can use whenever for unlimited amount of ender pearls. And I know what you guys are thinking. I used this dev null to, uh, to, to delete the cobblestone. Listen, 
I don't hate cobblestone. I just didn't want to crash the server with all of that cobblestone. Don't worry. I'm going to automate cobblestone production soon enough. We will have endless amounts of cobblestone. <laughs> Let's head back home. Let's set up this troll on Captain Sparkles. So I'm pretty sure I have everything. Last thing I need, I need this crushing machine. <laughs> You'll see soon enough, so let's break that. There we go. Okay, so let's grab everything from here, and then let's head over to Captain Sparkle's base. Dudes, if this troll works, this is going to be good. This is going to be a whole new level of morbid. Right, so check this out. I came into uh, Captain Sparkle's base earlier. I already started setting this up, but I was looking through his chest, trying to find something that I could troll him with. And look what I found. In this miscellaneous items up here, I found his Edgar and Steve. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. I have a jukebox with a music disc. We're gonna get Villain Derp Sunday in on this one. First, let me finish setting this up. I have these conveyor belts, which was really easy to make. Uh, hold on. So let's set these down. Yeah, yeah, going this way right here. These conveyor belts look sick. Wait, is that... Uh, are you not... Wait, you got it? Why are you going the wrong way? P please. Okay, so that's set up. What I need to do now, I need to dig down here. Right, I need to build... I'm gonna be building the crusher underneath this. Hopefully you guys know what's going on. <laughs> Let me finish setting this up. So this should work. So if I right-click this... Uh, there we go. <laughs> you guys can probably see what I'm doing. This is gonna be good. Now I just need to run power to this. What I'm gonna do since I've shown you pretty much what I'm doing, I'm gonna set this completely up. I'll show you once it's done. All right, so here we go. <laughs> it's not fully done. I still gotta do all the timing and whatnot, but what I'm gonna show you guys is pretty much the final product. Check this out. It's good. There's gonna be a chest here that says play me with of course the music disc and you caused this. <laughs> Now check this out. Whenever he enters in this music disc into the jukebox, it starts a chain reaction, which you'll see soon enough. Check this out. Hey there, Captain Sparkles. Now, now I know you may not know who I am, so let me introduce myself. My name is Derp Sunday, and normally, you know, I, I'm a happy guy, but recently you murdered my family, which has awoken Villain Derp Sunday. Now I know you may not know me, Captain Sparkles, but I know you. Now at about this time, you will hear something in your base. Look right in front of you, Captain Sparkles. Know that I'm not lying. And just remember, you have caused this. I hope you enjoy ground beef. <laughs> demented that is now how this is gonna work it's all gonna be perfectly timed i'm gonna get zine on he's gonna help me with some stuff i pretty much got it all down but how what's gonna happen once that click goes off in the in, with the music disc this hole is gonna open up in the wall and then he'll walk forward and see this. But here's the deal. This is only one-way glass. He can break this. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him in adventure mode during this with the command block. And he won't be able to break this. He can only watch as his Edgar and Steve get crushed up by the crusher and then once that's done he's gonna walk out here and then another trigger is gonna pop up here and what this is gonna do this is two dispensers this is gonna drop beef ground beef that says steve and edgar on his head 
<laughs> covered up with a ghost block. <laughs> this is good. This is this is how we do things. <laughs> Captain Sparkles, again, don't come after my family again. You may see a whole new monster coming out of Villain Derp Sunday. <laughs> But uh, anyways, dudes, for now, I'm going to end this here. If you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. And also, if you're at all new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And yes, dudes, I got some stuff to set up. If this goes well, <laughs> this is going to be good.